Hi friends, today we're making something devilish. Southern deviled eggs and using the Instant Pot. So the first thing I do is pour in a cup of water. I like using this vegetable steamer basket, but you guys, if you have a trivet or a, a different kind of, of uh, steamer basket, that's perfectly fine. And for this recipe, I'm using six eggs. I'm gonna put the lid on. Make sure it's in the sealing position. And pressure cook or manual for five minutes. Now the timer has gone off, I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure. So I've released the pressure and the pin is dropped. So now I'm gonna take these eggs and drop them in some ice water. And I'm gonna leave them in here just long enough for them to get cool enough to handle, but it'll be long enough to help the, the shells release real easily. And as we're cooling a little bit, I've been um, putting together some of my ingredients. These should shell really easily. Sometimes I like to put in a little bit of uh, dill, but that's totally optional. Sometimes I put in a, a little bit of uh, onion even, but you know, not everybody likes onion, but, so that's uh, optional as well. And paprika, um, you can garnish it afterwards with that if you like. It's just kind of up to you guys. I'm going to cut these in half, and I like to cut them long ways. That way, um, there's a, a dip on each side where I take out the, the egg yolk. That way it's more even for both sides to have, you know, similar amount. And you're gonna do that to each of those. And from what I've been understanding from, um, other people sometimes the instant pots vary a little bit in their timing some people get perfect eggs with putting it on manual for three minutes some people four minutes and some people say that theirs need to, to go even longer so you guys might have to play around with yours um, mine just turns out perfectly you know with four or five minutes I've done both so you guys will just have to kind of, you may have to work with the time just a little bit. Now I tore that a little bit, but if that happens to you guys, don't freak out about it. Just, you know, you're going to be filling them up and it's not really going to be a deal breaker there. I'm going to add my mayonnaise. Looks like that's a little over a teaspoon, but it's close enough. Okay, some salt and pepper, a teaspoon of vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar, but if you guys want to use the white, that's fine too. And two tablespoons of relish. And you're just gonna mix that really well. Sometimes I use a fork to kind of mush those egg yolks. They're pretty firm. If you guys like yours to be more smooth, then you might want to um, just use like the mayonnaise and the mustard uh, with the vinegar and the salt and pepper. You might want to leave out the, uh, the relish or you know any of the other stuff. It's just kind of up to you. Kind of, people make these a lot of different ways, so you can kind of just play around with it. Just kind of fill those. A lot of times we'll go a little light on filling them the first time around and then uh, go back over them, refilling them just a little bit more to make sure that they all have some, but that's just up to you guys. If you're really good at gauging, then you might not have to do that. <laughs> After 
after you get them all filled, then you can, if you want to sprinkle them with some paprika, then you can do that. And then just put them in the refrigerator until you're ready to eat them. Let me try one of these for you guys. Get the one that I broke. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.